gang, go step in there and say, you already know what it is, bitch. What up, what up? You already know what it is. It's your boy Big Dog 079. We back with another episode of How I See It. Wanna thank everybody out there for rocking with me. Rocking with the series. And just make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? If you liking what I'm talking about, you liking what I got going on, make sure you let it be known. Leave a comment if you got something to say. I ain't even tripping on that. You feel me? But anyway, let's get it going. So today, they let Bill Cosby out today. Yeah. They let Bill Cosby out today. The courts overturned his conviction. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what that means, that means he ain't supposed to be locked up to begin with. You feel me? So they let the man go. Bill Cosby old as hell. He was grown when I was little. You know what I'm saying? And they let him out. Everything he worked for. Cosby show. A different world. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you know how many people um, stemmed off of their early beginnings at the Cosby show. You know what I'm saying? Theo. Uh, Claire, you know what I'm saying, Rudy, Vanessa, you know what I'm saying, I don't remember the other ones right now, but you know, all of those people, Jada Pinkett, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, you know what I'm saying, don't get me started, yeah, but all those people, they got their fame, uh, they first taste of fame through Bill Cosby, a lot of them people turned their back on them when that shit came out. You know what I'm saying? And they did that to that man. And now they let him back out. What the fuck he gonna do now? Because it don't matter if you get your conviction overturned or some shit like that, right? Once they done fucked your name up publicly, it don't matter. Like, do you think it's gonna be as many people listening to the fact that Bill Cosby got found not guilty or like his uh, conviction got overturned as it was many people that was listening and paying attention when all them women was coming out saying all that shit that went on? No. Because people don't give a fuck about that. They only give a fuck about the drama. So now, what are you going to do? Go do a comedy show on NBC again? Probably not. What are you going to do? Make another Cosby show type shit? No. There's nothing for them to do. They took everything from them. You know what I'm saying? And spit the man back out there. So I've been in prison before. And then I've been accused of shit I ain't do before too. You know what I'm saying? So I know how it feel to be hell and have to fight to prove your innocence and shit like that. And don't nobody believe. It kills something inside you. Like some shit that's not recoupable. You can't get it back once it's taken. Like it killed the way you look at the world and shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he free. But you can't undo the shit that's done inside of prison. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't undo every time you had to go on a visit. You got to bend over. And let this other man look at your asshole just before you can go see your people. You can't undo that. You can't undo that prison guard standing there while you shower. You can't undo having to ask for some tissue when you got a shit. You can't undo that shit. You know what I'm saying? Prisons are designed to break you down physically and mentally. That's why they made out of steel and brick. Your bed made out of steel. Shit, my bed was made out of brick. I was sleeping on a concrete slab. So it's designed to break you down physically and mentally. And most time people will come out of there, they don't be the same motherfucker they was when they went in there for better or worse. Like, if you want further proof of that, just go look at the, um, the prison experiment that they ran at Stanford University. They took regular college students, made a makeshift prison in the basement of the university, 
took other students and hired them on as prison guards. Other students had volunteered to be prisoners because they was getting paid for it. It was an easy way to pay for, you know, tuition, book fees, you know, dorm food or whatever. And after 48 hours, like motherfuckers was talking about killing themselves. They had totally forgot that that was just an experiment. Because the prison guards, like, <clears throat> beating on the bars all day. Like, you goddamn it, don't get to decide what you're going to eat. They cutting the lights on on you anytime they want to. It's penalties for anything. And then if you try to stand up for some shit in prison, like, the, like okay, here you go. So, I was in prison. I seen, like, what I considered to be an injustice. You know what I'm saying? Like they was doing something to another inmate. So I couldn't go for that. So I, st I stepped in that. You feel me? And my actions led to us being like, uh, being deprived of like uh, TV privileges and shit like that, right? So the same guys that I had put myself on the line to help, they was mad at me because we lost our TV privileges. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Right, because I'm fighting for the bigger goal, and they done made you turn in on yourself. So you hate me because I stood up for our rights. I should have just sat down like everybody else and just took it, like on some slave mentality type shit, right? So anyway, Bill Cosby got to come out and try to recover from all that type of shit. I'm glad he out. I hope somebody give him an opportunity. I hope some of the same people that was quick to accuse him be quick to come to the light and say, I'm sorry for fucking that man life up. I hope that happened. I hope the same press media that covered those women cover those same women if they want to come back and say, hey, I, I shouldn't have did that. That was fucked up to do. But we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, rolling right along. So the mayor of Chicago, <clears throat> let me give me some water, man. Because this is going to be some shit. <clears throat> so the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, she said uh, in a press conference that 99, well, it was an interview, that 99% of her criticism came only because she was a black woman. Like that she was only being accused of the things that was going on in Chicago and being considered failing her job because she was a black woman. She said that they didn't accuse Richard Daly or Rahm Emanuel of the same things because they were male. If you're not from there, you probably don't know. Uh, well, fuck, everybody probably know because you see it on the news all the time. Niggas getting killed everywhere they go, anytime, all kind of stupid shit like that, right? But that's always been a thing in Chicago. <clears throat> like with every politician we had, most of the politicians we done had been corrupt to start with. Like that's some shit you can look up. Most of our governors was corrupt and shit like that. So if it's, if it's corrupt on a scale like that, then you got to believe it's corrupt on a lower scale. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's a whole nother story. So she's saying 99% of her... Criticism came because she was a black woman. So, since we use the statistics and percentages and shit like that, here goes some percentages for Chicago. There's been 1,587 shootings so far in Chicago. There's been 294 murders in Chicago as of June. The unemployment rate is 9.40%. They go a percent for you. And that's higher than the long-term average, which is 7.80%. And since we was using percents, I just went and did some research so I can come with my own percents. You feel what I'm saying? So, they saying that, okay, so it's 294 people that got killed. 
this year so far. It's only June. It's a 1,587 shootings so far. The unemployment rate is 9.4%. That's higher than the long-term average of 7.8. And you saying that they saying that only because you're a black woman? I'm going to have to ask you to make it make sense. No, they're saying that because you're doing a terrible job. That's what they saying that, folks. Like, it's shit going on every day. Every time you turn on the news and then you just want people to um, act like it's not happening because, uh, like, no, that shit really happening. There's people getting killed every day. And it ain't even no service for that. Like, motherfucker get killed and it's just over with. Like, people die like that on a regular basis there in select areas. And you only talking about, like, she will only talk about those murders and shit like that when it hit the areas of affluence. When it hit the rich areas of town, that's when it's an issue. But long as, like, the niggas killing niggas in the nigga area is good. You feel what I'm saying? So I think you're being criticized for just like really doing a poor job. I don't think you're being criticized for uh, being a black woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just let that sink in. I'm going to let that just do that. You know what I mean? So that was that. So man, like, okay. Um, I, so like Kodak Black got some shit going on with Jack Boy. I don't know. I don't really know, cause I don't be, I ain't no, I don't do all that bitch ass shit. I don't be in no nigga business like that. So I'm gonna be talking directly to Kodak with this. And Jack Boy. If if they end up hearing it in some kind of way. Bro, real niggas don't, like don't move like that. Don't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be level, don't level yourself down to no shit like that. If you got an issue, Address your issues publicly and I mean like privately. Don't don't address your shit publicly. You know what I'm saying? And then like they saying a motherfucker threw a hundred racks in the um ocean. That's the I so I get it on, on the street level, on the hood nigga level, I get it. Like nigga fuck this shit, I got it like that. You know, it ain't about the money, it's about the principle or whatever like that. But at the same time, bro, you could have made a bigger statement by donating that money. To the um, local boys and girls club, you could have gave that money back to your old high school. You could have gave that money back to the um, United Negro College Fund. You could have did a whole bunch of different charitable acts with that money. Like, especially if you felt like it had no value to you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it, right. It ain't have a value to you, but it's other people that's in need. And you come from Haiti, so you already know what a struggle is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes motherfuckers do each other wrong. It be misunderstandings and shit. They get blown up by pride. But a real nigga can put that shit to the side and deal with the issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with you. I fuck with both of y'all. So I'm saying something just because of that. You feel me? Just care that shit better, bro. That shit ain't what's up. But anyway, boom. Right on. Keep it going, because we don't fuck around. We be busy. You know what I'm saying? So this goof-ass dude in Wisconsin named Travis. I ain't going to say his name. I don't know. I ain't going to say his whole name. But the dude killed his son over a piece of cheesecake. He killed his five-year-old son over a piece of cheesecake. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it just be shit. I don't be even knowing what to say. Um, When I be coming across this type of information because I don't understand what you could have been going through or what you could have been feeling um, about that piece of cheesecake that made you go crazy like that. That ain't even for comedic reasons. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's a little bitty ass five-year-old boy. You just killed him for a piece of cheesecake. My nigga... Walmart got cheesecake. Whole bunch of places got cheesecake. At the same time, that's your baby. So just like, I, we got to do better than that. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 like I want to be on some bullshit 
and talk goofy and all that. But like, we just got to do better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't just talking from no shit like, um, like just hopping on no story. Like I had a little cousin, like she um went through some situations and she was only like, she was real young and she ended up uh, brain dead and shit. You know what I'm saying? And we had to raise her. Like me and my brothers, we had to help raise her because she couldn't do nothing for herself and shit. So, um, like I couldn't imagine what that, you know what I mean? We just got to do better than that, man. Like it's a lot of black people, uh, black men that be needing help, be needing mental help. But we got a culture where you look that like you you weak or something if you go get some mental health treatment or something. Like if you black, you got a crazy uncle, crazy auntie, and like we just refer to him as that and we accept them as that. Oh, that's just that's just crazy uncle woo, 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 or whatever. Like, no, we need to start getting our people help. Like, ain't nothing cute about that shit. Ain't nothing cool about that shit. We got enough variables trying to fuck us up already. And then we, like, fucking ourselves up, too. It ain't nothing weak about getting no help. It ain't nothing weak about no man going to get no checkups. Like, it ain't nothing weak about that. It ain't nothing weak about being weak. We was designed to be weak. We was designed to be dependent on one another. You feel what I'm saying? Adam couldn't do it by himself, so he hollered at God like, bro, send me somebody. Hey, hook me up, bro. Because he, we ain't designed to be alone. We designed to be dependent on one another. That's the way the human race is supposed to work. So we got to stop shaming each other for, you know what I'm saying, struggling with things like that. And then maybe like, like shit like this won't happen. Little kids won't get killed because they got jammed up in some shit like that. You feel me? And all that shit happened over a piece of cheesecake. But since we talking about cheesecake, though, man, somebody got to get, hey, somebody get, get Puffy. Somebody got to holler at Puffy. Whoever close to Puffy, Stevie J, uh, whoever, man, Cassie, uh, some, get, somebody get their uncle. I, I, I watched the highlights of the BET Awards. And they was talking about Lil Nas X and his little performance and all that. I ain't knocking that. Whatever. You know. Teach his own. Then your boy Puffy. He go on Twitter. Lil Nas X. He, oh, you did that. Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you, Sean? What's wrong? I think that I think that drink that drink champs episode went um with fabulous and you and you was doing you yeah I think that man like damn bro and I'm tripping with BET too because like why the fuck you like what the fuck y'all on that's why I don't fuck with him you know what I'm saying exactly why I don't fuck with him. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That's what we got going on, man. Like, uh, if you close to Puffy, just holler at him, man. You know what I'm saying? Just holler at him. You know what I'm saying? We up out of here. Look, we got to pray for people. Pray for the people in Miami. Pray for the people in Phoenix. There's been some incidents in Phoenix. Pray for the people of Chicago. And just pray for each other, man. We got to do that because the energy and the bullshit is everywhere. You feel what I'm saying? We got to be better than that. And I'm up out of here.